some different breathers. Um, and I think we're fixing to purchase this truck off of the boss man, y'all. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to do. We're going to purchase the rat rod and we're going to lease, lease back onto the company. Monday, February 27th. We are here in Woodward, Oklahoma. About to get loaded. It is 11.04 a.m. I've been sitting here for a little while. Probably about an hour and a half. Got the rack to the right of us here. The, what they call the east rack. It's down. I think they're replacing the valve on it. We're in the middle rack. Of course, the west left rack to the left. And that UPT truck there. It's loading death and it takes forever to load death it seems like so uh, but nonetheless we're here and we're about to get loaded and we are headed down to Monday Texas about 250 miles away 250 miles south of here and we are in Woodward Oklahoma if I didn't already say that um, I attempted to record a video yesterday and I've been telling you guys I get a video of the rat rod and what we're doing and yesterday was a first alert day with the storms and <clears throat> everything else and uh, well, I got loaded got up here early got loaded and when I was leaving out this I was about an hour and a half away from Monday my wife called and actually my wife didn't call actually a friend of mine called and said hey you got bad water leak at your house coming out of the water meter so I called my wife got her up she called her uncle which actually works for the city there where I live they came over and turned it off and they said it was on our side so if the leak is on between the meter and the house, I'm responsible for it. If it's from the meter back that way, the city is responsible for it. So, so I went on down to Monday and unloaded. I was in the process of recording, making a video. We were going to chase storms. We were going to unload fertilizer. We were going to get shots of the rat rod. We were going to do it all yesterday. It was Sunday. It was nice and quiet. Wasn't nobody going to be around. So that's what we were going to do. But <clears throat> So I ended up having to unload and go home and check out this water line. Nonetheless, when I got home, uh, my wife's uncle had already uh, dug up around the meter and come to find out it was on the city side. There's a little little piece that went between the meter and our uh, line that had a little plastic piece in it that had broke. So uh, they, we ended up fixing it and replacing that part. It wasn't no big deal. And uh, <clears throat> we're about to pull up here, about our turn to load. Let's pull up here and we'll continue on with uh, what happened after the water line was some, some of the crazy weather we got.
uh, we got her loaded here over at 57,000 pounds. I'm gonna go to 84,000. But we had some storms that were gonna supposed to build up in our area, right here in the eastern Texas pan, the western Oklahoma. And they actually built up further up north a little bit, the supercells did. But man, after them supercells kind of moved off, we had a squall line build up about seven o'clock last night. And it blew through Memphis, our town there. They clocked 114 mile an hour straight line winds. We had uh, some golf ball size hail and uh, all kinds of crap tore up around town. Uh, my daughter's house, the west side of her house, which side the storm was coming from, blew out all her windows. We had a cousin, the same thing. Uh, our picture window on the west side of our house, I thought it was on bus, but I actually put some pretty dang good windows in the house and they had a warranty on them and they were supposed to be able to withstand uh, baseball size hail. And it, it made it through it. It made it through it. I was really surprised. Uh, the rat rod here, I was kind of worried about the windshields. It made it through it too. So, and nonetheless, there's trees down everywhere, lights down, poles down. We were without power for about five hours. <clears throat> so I got a late start. That squall line was all through here. It's 180 miles. It hit up here too. So we did. We left left about 6:30 this morning. We're gonna drive up here while we still had some light. So we. That way we wasn't sitting there running down the highway 75 miles an hour come across a tree laying across the road or something that we couldn't see in the dark so so we got a later start today but uh so that kind of messed up all my plans of uh getting to record all day tomorrow so i'm going to record a little bit today it's not going to be very much but at least you will get to see the rat rod today we're going to get loaded we're going to get down to monday and kick it off and uh i'm going to decide i don't know if i'm going to go back home tonight or come back up here so kind of leave it up there can i see what happens with the phone calls we got about 20 loads on the boats right now so i'm gonna finish getting loaded with 70 000 so get out here and unhook everything and we'll go get paperwork we'll get down there perfect That east rack open, that old boy got lucky. Four or five trucks. He got to skip around because he was next in line to call in out there at the guard shack when he got when after they got it fixed. He got a little bit lucky. Now the east side's open, y'all. Bring in about three or four more trucks. 11:28. Julia, I'm back on my sodas. Started running these long days again and no days off. I had to get back on my drink. There's some pretty trucks here again, y'all. Let's see. Woodward, Oklahoma. It never disappoints, does it?
never disappoints. Sometimes I wish this old truck was a flat top. Not the way them flat tops look. There's a stand up right there. It's done right. You gotta stretch this one out a little bit. Put that air ride on the front. And we'd be large and in charge. Good looking little short hood right there, flat top. Got that fertilizer off my hands. I gotta get another pair of gloves. Them gloves are starting to get to where they soak through. Safety first, put on the seat belt. We got 250 miles south to go and uh, we'll catch y'all when we get down there and get ready to unload. Unless I see something in between here and there that y'all need to see. that they put free on back into it so maybe maybe something's just unhooked or whatever so we'll look at that while we're unloading and uh, we'll finish out the video today too i was going to do a little drone shooting down here but the wind got up so one thing bad about owning a drone in west texas is about a third of the year you can't ever fly to dang things because there's always too much wind unless you want them to end up in kansas <laughs> take off on it. Well, look at the wheat down here. That's why we're uh, hauling this fertilizer hot and heavy down here. Though. The wheat the wheat crop looks awesome. Looks awesome down here this year. So, quit blabbing here. We're going to turn in right up here on the right. Pull back here on the pad and kick this high speed crop feed off. And, uh, and I'm going to be headed back to the house. Now it's about a two hour drive back to the house. Uh, get the, gotta get a little work done to the truck. I'll get home about six o'clock, so I have a little time to work on the truck. And get ready to get after it tomorrow. We got about 20 loads we gotta get from Woodward, Oklahoma to Alpha, Oklahoma. So we're gonna start on those in the morning. 
Those are only about 140 mile hauls. They're a little shorter. And we should be able to do two and a half of those a day. Two and a half a day. truck in the way. Looks like one of their trucks in there loading or loading up looks like. Loading up. Something on my lip. Maybe some of them Funyuns. Funyuns on the way over here. I think they're hanging out with me. A little wet down here still, but that wind is drying everything out pretty fast. But you see a little bit of water standing in some places. There's the truck in front of us there. We're going to have to wait on him to get out of the way and we'll get over here and get hooked up and kick it off. All right, let's get her done. All right, we got the truck out of our way. Pull up here and unload her. I popped the hood open while I was waiting there for a minute. Found the issue talk about a little bit once I get hooked up here and start kicking the load off. Got some wire. Got some wiring issues. You don't need that AC. It's getting warm. It's on 79 on the dash. Got our tanks a little over half full. You can see 
right about here you see the bobber that as it goes down it means the tank's filling up it's a little bit over halfway look at the feet we got in there how many feet I have to go from the other side to see it we're making some ground on we'll look at that wheat though it's pretty wheat pretty wheat uh, let's look at this uh, air conditioner right quick. Show y'all what's going on here. Hey, you have to excuse the noise and the wind. If I gotta leave the truck running because we're unloading. got me a new power probe the other day my old one had quit those are one of the best tools you can have for diagnosing problems so the problem is I'm not getting no fire out there and I can't find the ground and I don't know if the wire they got hooked up that's actually the ground it's not working the wire, but they redid all the wiring harness on the other side when they put the new motor in. So I gotta locate I gotta locate the hot in the ground for the switch to make the compressor work. That's why we don't have no air conditioner. That's what we're doing right now. I'm gonna do a little more looking and I'll let y'all know what I find out. If I find something here, it might be something I have to do at the shop. Have more time in a better place. Made it home, guys. Made it to the house. So, we got a really bad storm here last night. And pretty much gutted our pecan tree here a lot of the small limbs knocked it off um, luckily the storm came in from the west over here and had 114 mile an hour straight winds luckily this tree protected these windows and uh, our big window here i was kind of worried about it as hard as it was hailing and stuff but it it seems seems to be all right when we bought these windows for this house i don't know it's about 10 12 years ago when we bought them and uh they were supposed to be storm proof this uh screen got tore up pretty bad but they were we bought them because they're storm proof they're three three pane got some kind of gas in them or whatever and uh but they 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 held up that's the worst hell we've had on it that's the worst hailstorm we've had here in town in a while. Uh, so they held up good. But our roof didn't fare so well. So we're going to probably have to do some work on get the roof worked on. Uh, my wife's Jeep here. She said it has some pretty good hail damage. It's getting dark. I can't see it out here now. She said it has some pretty good hail damage on top on the, on the hood. It's dirty from all the dirt that blew in with it too. But... So I'm gonna have to call the insurance on that tomorrow and see all the dirt that blew over it. My grandpa's pickup. Got beat up pretty good. Of course, I just got liability insurance on this one. So I'm, but I got plans for this pickup anyway. In the future, we're gonna be fixing it up. So, but, so that's how we fared on that water leak I was telling y'all about. Right here at the city meter got it fixed so it's just a heck of a heck of a a lot of events happened yesterday whatever however you want to say it but i'm about to go in and eat we uh i didn't figure out what was up with the ac yet i'm gonna need a little more time troubleshooting i had to get get going there 
you gotta find that wire, that hot wire. It's not getting no power to it, and it could be at either one of the pressure switches or it could be the switch in the cab or whatnot. But man, I got all kinds of new lights from uh, truck accessories to put on this thing and uh, some more that I, I bought. So, uh, so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be having a little different look to it here before long. Got some different breathers. Um, and I think we're fixing to purchase this truck off of the boss man, y'all. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna purchase the rat rod and we're gonna lease, lease back onto the company. So that's kind of the plan right now. That's what we're looking at. And we're gonna call it a night. Get in here and give me something to eat. I'm gonna leave out about four o'clock in the morning and go do it again. Man, she looks pretty, don't she? Looking pretty, looking pretty. So, so yeah. Well, we're going to get back after it tomorrow, and uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one. Until then, keep the shiny side up. Hammer down.